Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video and another unboxing. Today we're unboxing a latest model from Foibos called Voyager. So let's open the box, which is the standard Foibos box made with this very cool material and it had this rubberized like leather as, as the logo. So let's pop it open and see what we got. Inside you get the warranty, the instruction manual, everything. You get the blue foie boss on this part as well. The box itself is very nice, very felt like, and the watch comes on a pillow. So let's move this away and check out the watch itself, which is a stunner. So a Voyager is a classic dive watch, but done slightly different because of the name Voyager, it comes with a 12 hour bezel. So it's not a GMT watch, it's still a dive watch, but having a 12 hour bezel combined with the regular hour hand can allow you to track the second time zone. You just have to be able to remember whether it's AM or PM. When it comes to the specs, this is a 39 millimeter watch with 45 millimeter lug to lug and 13.5 millimeters of thickness. So it is quite chunky, especially because it's 39, the thickness gets accentuated somewhat. But as you can see, the proportions are pretty good. It's very utilitarian looking when it comes to the cases. Everything is brushed. As you can see, the sides are brushed, the tops are brushed, everything. So this is a completely brushed watch. The only hint of polish you get in the form of these center links on the bracelet and somewhat on the on the bezel. The bezel grip is pretty original, unlike anything I've seen so far. The crown is signed as you would expect, and it's a screw-in type. Uh, the watch comes with 200 meters of water resistance, comes with a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, a ceramic bezel, and I especially like the red pip or the red triangle for the pip at 12 o'clock, and a date that's done with the red text on a black background, something I've never seen before. It has some kind of a sinister look to it and I have to admit, I actually like it. It's not as readable as let's say black on white or white on black, but I really do like it. Uh, the hour markers are quite original. They look almost like diamond shaped and they go well with the hour hand. And the second hand is pretty classical and I like the fact that all the hands reach their designated markers. You have the outer minute track, it's not a chapter ring, it's printed on the dial, so no misalignment problems, which is good. The bracelet itself is pretty massive with solid end links, solid links, links are held with screws, and it does come with their standard uh, milled out clasp with the Foibos logo etched inside of it. The only minus is that it doesn't, still doesn't come with on the fly adjustment, <clears throat> but rather these micro adjustment holes, and you have three positions. The case back is closed, again engraved with that Foibus logo, which, which really always looks pretty cool. Now, given this uh, lack of micro adjustment, it can be forgiven given the price of the watch, because this watch will set you back $309. And if you join their campaign, or if you use the coupon code, I believe R55, I'll have it in the description and probably on the screen, by 24th of June, which is like a restock coupon, you get $55 or 55 euros off the price. So this is basically a $250 watch, when for that price, the specs are pretty okay. Now, uh, Foibos is one of the very rare brands that although based in China, they have warehouses all over the world. So even if you go to their Chinese website, I mean to their regular website, you simply select a USA warehouse and you're not gonna be pay paying any customs or import duties. And if you're within the European Union, you just go to foibos.eu and I'll leave both links in the description. And again, you do not pay any customs uh, or import duties, which is very important, especially if you live in, in a country like mine, where if a watch costs $300 by the time you pay all the other things, uh, including taxes, import duties, and fees to the post office and the customs, you will end up with a 450 or up to $500 of a watch, which is quite expensive. So I love the fact that Foibos recognizes that and makes sure that they have warehouses all over the world. So people, when ordering, they actually pay the price that is advertised on the web website. Now, this is just, like I said, the unboxing and first impressions. Do stay tuned for, for the full review when I do the macro shots and spend some time with the watch. 
but knowing Foibos, they're on the level with Zelos when it comes to quality. It's just that they have certain things like this on the fly adjustment where they kind of save a few bucks, but they transfer that saving to you. So they're usually like up to 50% cheaper than an equivalent to Zelos. So Foibos is more like an affordable type of a Zelos watch with original design and I always like them. All of their watches are pretty good and I especially like their designs. Now this one comes in a variety of colors but this red one with this type of a date, I have to admit, although it wasn't my first choice, I'm actually liking it the more I look at it. As you can see, it does have that Fumé effect where the red is pretty bright at the center and then goes slightly darker at the edges. Very cool because it then continues on to this black ceramic bezel. Very nice. So let me put this on my wrist. We're gonna do a loom shot and that's gonna be it for today. So at 39 millimeters in diameter and 45 lug to lug, this should fit my wrist pretty perfectly. Although it hasn't been sized, so we're just gonna pretend like it fits me. But as you can see, it doesn't overhang my wrist in any way. It's pretty nice. It is slightly chunky, too chunky for my taste, but being a diver, I can actually forgive it. And the bracelet is pretty hefty, so I believe it's gonna balance the watch out pretty well. And look at these applied markers. They really play with the light as well as the hands. Very nice. Okay, let me just charge the watch. We're gonna do a loom shot and that's gonna be it. Okay, with the watch charged, let me zoom in. Let the camera focus. If it's ever gonna focus, there we go. And turn off the lights. And there we go. The watch glows more green than blue, but it's somewhere in between and it's very, very potent on camera and off camera. So a pretty cool loom application. The bezel is also completely loomed. You know me, I prefer when only the 12 o'clock pip is loomed, but even this is okay. It's quite easily readable. Okay, that's it when it comes to this unboxing and first impressions. I hope you found it useful. Like I said, do stay tuned for the full review. And also if you like the watch, do use the coupon code by the 24th of June because the savings is quite a lot because you get a 200, I mean, you get a $300 watch for $250. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.